and welcome to the Yorkshire Pud Kitchen where today we're going to take you across the M62 and into Lincolnshire and we're going to show you the Lincolnshire Plum Bread. To begin with, mix your sultanas, currants and prunes in Earl Grey tea and stir. These need to soak for around 10 minutes. Next, sift around 450 grams of strong plain flour. Ideally, this needs to be bread flour. In a separate bowl, mix together milk, brown sugar, melted butter, two eggs, and whisk until combined. Next, add in vanilla extract, salt, and your two spices, which are cinnamon and allspice. Combine together until fully mixed in. Finally, add yeast, and again, stir to ensure it's fully mixed in. It's now time to add our flour to the wet ingredients. Initially, mix this in with a whisk before switching to a spoon as it becomes drier. And then finally getting your hands in there to form the dough. Remove the fruit from the liquid by draining and add the fruit to the perfectly formed dough. Now comes the hardest part of this. We've got a very, very wet dough and we need to knead this for around 10 minutes. Stick with this. If you keep kneading and kneading, what eventually will happen is you'll get the perfect dough ready to rise. So that's the hard work done. All we need to do now is leave this to rise for around two hours. Okay, so two hours have passed by, and by now our dough should have risen roughly by double in size. Which it has, superb. So what we're gonna do is take this out and begin to shape it ready to go into our loaf tin. We now need to form this into a bread shape ready for rising. To do this, loosely flatten it out across your floured work surface and fold in two and leave for a brief second. Now again, pull out and stretch the dough, but just loosely tapping away so it almost goes itself. Once you've done that, we can then stretch each corner out individually and bring into the middle. Bring the middle over and press down hard. We can then sew, seam both sides of the dough together, almost like a Cornish pasty. Fold under with your hands and place in a baking tin ready to proof. Okay, so an hour's gone past and our bread has perfectly proved 
in its tin. I've also just put a slash down the, uh, down the centre there so that when the steam is escaping it's got somewhere to go and that should give a real nice finish to the loaf. So that's going into the oven and that's going to bake for around 40 minutes. Okay so 40 minutes has gone past and what we're looking for really is a real dark crust uh, because of the content of brown sugar that's in there and hopefully when I put that slash across the middle the steam will have gone out and given it a really nice finish. Let's have a look at the result and that's exactly what I've got. That's where the steam has left and created this lovely lovely uh, effect, very dark crust. We're going to take that out and uh, just make sure it's cooked by tapping the bottom. Okay, so that's sounding hollow, which can only mean one thing. It's ready, we just need to leave it to cool now, and then we can cut into that and have our very, very first piece of Lincolnshire plum bread. And there you have it, Lincolnshire plum bread, a crusty loaf, ideal for everyday breakfast. Mm -hmm.